Perl tutorial part 112 regular expressions match a digit a word character white space character or any character first of all I'd like to show you the M operator with an example with standard in So by default the M operator will try to match the text in the default variable. So let's run this. Until I type the word log out somewhere it won't exit. Let's log out. So now we've exited. So because the M operator reads the default variable by default, it doesn't have to be there at all. And actually the M doesn't have to be there either. So you don't have to use these slashes as delimiters for the M operator, but if you don't use the slashes, you have to have the M there. Okay. So let's make this so the user can only type in the word log out before they can log out. So let's comment. Let's change these back to our slashes. Okay, so to match the beginning of the line, we use this character. To match the end of the line before the new line character we use this character here so until we type in log out only we will not exit the program so hello let's log out no let's type log out okay we've exited the program. Okay, so let's now try to do some matches in a basic string. So let's create string my six frogs jump three feet and let's print string out so let's now create a regular expression to make this say my seven frogs jump three feet so we use the substitution operator Okay, so to match a digit character, we use a small d, so we need to escape that with a backslash. And let's substitute our six frogs to make it seven. And let's print our string. Okay, so we now have my seven frogs jump three feet. If we were to make this global, 
it would say my seven frogs jump seven feet. Now let's try to match a word character. One of the special characters is the W. Okay, so let's backslash W. Now this will try to match alpha numeric characters and the underscore which we don't have an underscore in here so let's try and change the word my to your and print our string now this will only change one character at a time so this won't work properly. This will just change the M character. Okay, so this will come out saying something like Yuri, seven frogs jump three feet. So to make it match more than one character until it finds a non word character, we put in the plus sign like this so that's for one or more match so let's run this we now have your seven frogs jump three feet if we were to make this global it would change every word in our string to your Now if this only matched one character at a time, it would change every character in our string to the word your. Your, your, a lot of yours. Okay, now let's try and match some white space characters. So we use a lowercase s. So escape the s and let's exchange our white space for a dash. So this will just exchange the first white space at this stage. Your dash 7. So we must make that global. So all our white space including the new line character has been substituted for a dash. So Let's put in a new line character. Finally, we can match any character except the new line using the dot. So let's substitute every character except the new line for a star. We do that globally. Let's print that out. Like so. If this wasn't global it would just match the first character. Okay, so that's some information on regular expressions.